Jan Ozer typically stands in front of large rooms of people, talks about encoding, does a number of things where he tests and provides results. So Jan, uh, you have a book. Tell me about the book. The book is called Video Encoding by the Numbers, and by the numbers I mean... Is it like paint by numbers? Yeah. Well, it kind of is. I mean, what I try to do is, you know, we, we've been encoding video for years, and sure. And there are a lot of opinions, um, but there are very few true facts, right? Okay. So, you know, keyframe intervals should be X, the uh, right. B frame setting should be Y. Okay. And what I did in encoding by the numbers is I backed up every recommendation with objective quality benchmarks. Oh, nice. So everything okay. that I say in the book, so for example, you know, if we talk about keyframes, right? Um, back here, this is reference frame. So we have a table that says, okay, here's one reference frame, five reference frames, 10 reference frames, 16. Okay, And nice. Where the green spots. is the best quality, right. red is the worst quality. And we also show the differential. So if okay. the differential is irrelevant, it's irrelevant. Right. And then we sure. also typically show a chart. So here, even though this is worse and this is the best, you can see in the chart that it's not that much better. You know, okay. the lines don't slope that much. So. By the numbers, it's everything is backed up by an objective. So benchmark. let me ask you a question on that because obviously we've got a number of analytics out there: PSNR, SSIM, you know, other quality metrics. Is are the numbers primarily based on just those, or also you're looking at it from a human perception standpoint and saying this is where you know, PSNR tells me the quality is better here based on the lines, but I look at it visually and I confirm that. It, it, it's a good question. One of the tools that I use is the uh, Moscow University Video okay. Quality Measurement Tool. All right, got it. And what that tool has is the ability to compare, um, you know, you can, you can measure the numbers mm -hmm. and then it presents a graph so you can see where, where things spike or where they really go down. So you can, and then you can zero in on that frame. Okay. So if, it, if it's a really close evaluation, what you want to do is you, you always want to play the video files because the objective right. metrics, sure. they sure, can't sure. screw up. But what that tool gives you the ability is to really hone in on the point of differential between some of the encoding technologies. Okay, so there's an about. anomaly that shows up as you say, That's you right. can hone in on that particular frame. And, so what? Um, so the focus in this is primarily AVC. Is that correct? No, I mean there's chapters on you know AVC is the is primarily the focus, but there's also chapters on ATBC, okay, VP9, VP9, and I mentioned AV1, but I don't really cover it because there's not a lot of encoding going on. What else should people know about video encoding by the numbers? It's a good book for fundamentals, mm -hmm. you know, because you'll you'll understand what the differences are. You know, you learn what is. What is CBR versus VBR? You sure. probably know that, but what's the qualitative difference? What's, okay. How's it vary in terms of deliverability? Right, right, right. And then also what I did, this was kind of a learning experience for me, and you'll appreciate this, is that um, I had to encode so many files, mm -hmm. and I had to produce so many tests that I just I really got into FFmpeg encoding. Okay, sure. And, um, and, and a lot of command line stuff. So I, I, right. started it, I started a... A Google Doc, you know, what did I learn on FFmpeg today? Nice. And then, like, halfway through the book, it's like, well, why don't I just put this in the book? Right, we're right. Because so, other people will want to know that information. That's right. Yeah. So every every chapter, so the, the chapter on keyframes has, you know, how to moderate keyframes using FFmpeg. Okay. And as you go through the book, you learn piece by piece by piece. So you really can go from a single file encode to a highly efficient ABR stream in either Dash or HLS through the book, mm -hmm. and then you can automate it yourself with um, FFmpeg. Okay, you know nice. why you're doing it, and you know how you do it with uh, with those tools. And then, lastly, price point on the book. The price for the book is uh, fifty dollars on okay. um, on Amazon. It's also available as a PDF on my site, streaminglearningcenter.com, for for uh, thirty nine ninety five. Oh, okay, got it. Great. So again, Jan Ozer, uh, principal at streaminglearningcenter.com. Thanks, Jan. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thanks, yep. Jan.